Hi, this is Fernando Gomez Sancha, and this is a video of a green light HPS uh, laser prostatectomy on a patient with a 130 gram prostate. These prostates are very big, and irrigation is very important, so I usually place a suprapubic choker for these uh, difficult cases. I like to start anteriorly, creating a tunnel that will allow the cystoscope to move inside the prostate without causing bleeding. Once this uh, tunnel is created, additional space is uh, developed before attempting to treat the median lobe. I have found this to be the safest way of dealing with the median lobe. This prostate had a very large median lobe. And you can see how easily it is vaporized. And it is very important that the beam is always pointing medially uh, to avoid the risk of damaging the retral orifices with a laser. This enhanced irrigation, having a suprapubic trocker to drain the saline that is instilled in the bladder during the procedure uh, is a great help for the treatment of these big prostates. That's the retinal orifice on the right side and I like to perform an, a deep incision that will tell me how far or how deep I have to go. And I do this usually on both sides. This would be the second incision on the left side And then I performed a third incision in the midline because this one is very safe to perform. And then the tissue between the lateral incisions and the midline incision is incisions are is, is vaporized, leaving a round and very satisfactory prosthetic fossa after the procedure. Those are little bits of tissue that have fallen into the bladder that will be extracted with a manual washout uh, of the catheter. And in these patients I usually remove the suprapubic trocker, place a sticker on the skin and the catheter is removed the next morning, usually prior to 24 hours, and patients go home.